Well, that's that's YouTube. What? No, no, no. I'm good. No, you're good. You're you're, good. you're working hard. Hey, folks. So John Goss shows up, which actually takes the form of me dumping on any of his current endeavors. Why don't you talk about that for a minute? Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, it was bad too. Sarah had to intervene. Well, I asked Sarah to intervene. I was like. Right. Sean's hurting my feelings. Like, yeah. help me out, Sarah. Well, Sarah speaking of hurt, but yeah. I my feelings were hurt first because when you left, you, the subtext was, "Hey, I'm going to go get a real job." I didn't say that. I said subtext. <laughs> that means what I heard. That's right. What's going on in my paranoid imagination? I'm sorry. Okay, but go ahead. What, what have your adventures been post BTP? Oh well, uh, I've been <coughs> I've been training for Border Patrol. And for oh, yeah. police academy. Oh wow! So, and border I look patrol. Forward to working with. This you. is probably going to show up on my background check too. Like really? the feds are going to be like, oh, like John Goss is in. Yeah. <laughs> so he washed all... out of this chicken crap outfit. <laughs> so, we sure don't want him here. But oh, uh, I'm wait. I'm waiting for him to call. I'm wait, because then you will. You're the then last I can employer. just. Oh, I could just crush you hideously. Uh, I'm waiting for him to wash out. Well, so so this this is the. Uh, Here's the thorn in your side. Okay. So I went up to test up at Police Academy right. before they're doing like the psych evaluations and the right. polygraph test. Is a psych evaluation where they go, ah! No, it's like a six Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, your car's getting towed. It's like, ah, oh, psych! It has 600 questions, <laughs> and it's like, did you love your mother? Really? If she's dead, or do you still love her Oh, now? it's like real Blade Runner. You're yeah. in a desert. <laughs> so. You see a turtle that's turned over. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. I rip it open, I eat it. No. Yeah. So, no, I, just the the I, I, I just failed yeah, the cycle. I just failed the graduation, but I scored in the top ninety percent in the fit in all the physical stuff. Really? Like I killed the top ninety percent. I mean, only ten percent uh, were worse than you. <laughs> sorry, the ninety percent. How'd you percentile. do in the math section? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, no, check edit. it out, baby. So, I'm in the top ninety-nine percent. <laughs> no, this is. This is where we say, let's edit that out, and then we don't edit it out. Oh, no, we're not <laughs> editing anything. It's on now. All right, Sony, would you please top, tell your story? That's it. God. That's it. Top nine, top, or top, top ten percent. Thank you. The 90th percentile. 90th percentile. That's what okay. I did. I oh, killed really? it. Like, that's great. The physical part. Yeah, and then, like, the, the interview part. Right. It's kind of, I mean, they try to mess with your mind, but I think I did okay with that, too. Really? There's an actual interviewer? Yeah, well, they have three. They have, you have one okay. captain and two lieutenants. So is it a panel? Yeah. And you're sitting in I'm like sitting the there, chair? And they give you three uh, scenarios. Okay. And then you're just supposed to have, take 15 minutes to explain what you would do in those scenarios. Oh, that's outstanding. And they just sit there and they nod their head. And the best part is, most of the time they're going... Yeah. Like they're upset with your yeah, answer. Yeah, they're, they're, you're, you they're know not approving. Yeah. And the... Well, so the worst, I'm thinking, well, these are pretty straightforward scenarios. So I answered the questions, and I still had, like, <laughs> like eight minutes left. And so then they just drilled me for eight minutes. Just kept asking me questions, which was really? pretty nerve-wracking. Oh, that's great. I love that. But it was good. That so. is neat. That is really neat. Anyway, that's the story. That's it. That's what I've been doing. That and, and taking care of my kid. Yeah. Which is actually harder... Than, yeah, than you'd rather finding a job. You'd rather be doing the obstacle course than yeah taking care of. I'd rather be at the gym know, for eight hours. That it's like you're changing up. the diaper. The diaper slides off the changing table, butter side down onto the carpet. Right, dishes are being you thrown know. off the the counter. She's getting crap on her heels because she's moving her legs around. That's, that's all. That's some pretty that's serious all. dumpage. Oh, it's bad. Oh, I'm talking about last night. I see, sent my eldest see, daughter to go. I know we're not talking lady, about my kid because that's never it was happened. Terrible. No, I, I actually last night I didn't have a butter side down. I had a um, I had one in the parking lot that I was uh, changing one of my kids, you know, in the car, and the diaper just went right on the ground. I'm like, what can you even do? Oh, that's gross. How are, what, how are you going to handle that? Changing a kid in a car is probably. One of the worst scenarios oh, you yeah. could be in. Oh, yeah, it's bad. They need you know, a car there, that like, comes art. with a changing table. There's an art to changing a diaper that you've got to... Yeah, well, it takes I think I think the secret is preparation. To get everything ready oh, first. Oh, not mental once, preparation. Once you... Whoosh, it's on then. There's no... Okay. Well, I don't think I would be breathing <laughs> yeah, in hard. No, no. You probably go... <gasps> I do do that. 
Actually, <laughs> you breathe out I, I go, your nose. <gasps> Are you yeah. kidding? You no, hold your breath? Yeah, I seriously, oh, I try. And then when it's like about to pass out, last thing you want to do is face <laughs> down in an open diaper. So you got to be like the, <gasps> where am I? You know, second breath. <laughs> so. All right. So, um, speaking of giant piles of crap, let's talk about the new Orcs and Goblins book. Oh, you know, it's that, see, it's that see, was rough. That was it was. It just it was too good a segue to let it go. Actually, we love this. I love it. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's hardback, full color. About time is all. Actually, no, it's not really. If you call, is it what? What's the? I don't like it? to dump on sepia. Things. How do you say that word? Sepia. Sepia. Yeah, I don't know. That's if that's I'd a full color, color, then no. It but. is. Well, and again, this is great. It's a step in the right direction. But I mean. Here's yeah. what you're getting from Privateer Press. You can't compare still. Giant, full-color things, like, just on every page, this gorgeous thing. So, And most of the artwork good. of the new book I'm not isn't even new. It. It's not even new artwork. Well, hold on. Let's let's compare the price. Privateer Press giving it up for $44.99. And this is how many pages? 144 pages. <coughs> Games Workshop wants... I I don't see it on here. I think on the website it's like thirty seven ninety five. Okay, thirty seven ninety. So it's about seven dollars less, and it's a hundred ten pages. So, uh, not complaining though. I just I hope they all are like this. And here's how the army list entries look. Very attractive. Look good. And I've just skimmed it. And the thing I notice is this. I I go right to the core. Yeah. Units. I want to know what's the core units well, are. The power core uh, mentality, right? That's right. So power core. <laughs> the I don't know what I'm talking about core. <laughs> uh, no orc boar boys special. They went from 22 points to 16 points. That's huge. Okay, go ahead. What What are your impressions? What so do you think? Uh, a lot more special characters, and I think GW is trying to push more special characters. So you have uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm doing a goblin army, and so I haven't really paid attention to a lot of the orcs. Did any stuff. of them change the composition, like in 40k? Take this guy, and these things no. are troops' choices. N no, uh, there's one that bring. There's a goblin hero that does a that brings a special to wolf boys, like wolf riders, and then there's another goblin hero that does the same for spider riders. Okay. So Oops. they don't like change the composition, but he has to come with a unit of that type. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. But those so are he's an cool. enhancer. Yeah. But they do those in 40k. Right. Like, you know, this guy's like a super champion. And the Dark Elves have one or two of those, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. They have uh, guys that, like, the uh, champion of the uh, executioners or whatever it is. Right. So, there's that. Guys, it's so much to have in your brain. I don't yeah. think your brain can, like, actually have it all in there. The game of remembering things. Yeah. That's right. That's what look, Warhammer Look at all my Seanisms right now. I know. Now. Or, sorry, know. Gateleyisms or whatever you're calling them yeah. now. Gateleyisms. I don't, I don't. Well, there's uh, Gateleyisms, Gateleytopia, Gateleynomics. There are Gateleynomics. And yeah. uh, so I'm kind of working my way around. Yeah. But there are some new units also. There's a couple new units. Uh, there's the Mangler Squigs, which which are basically fanatics. They're on. A, they're supposed to be on a round base. They don't know what. What size the base oh, is supposed to be yet? They don't say base size. No, still, they're not smart enough to do uh, that. Because I'm GW. waiting till they, I'm waiting till part of the entry is base size twenty millimeters. That would be, and they actually tell you other than what it is now, which is whatever comes in the box is right. your base size. So, and there's confusion on that. Like uh, in 40k, <laughs> the Reavers are now on the 30 millimeter flying bases, but the Eldar jet bikes are still on the giant 60s, which makes them. Screw. That's the whole, most horrific. Who's doing? Why are you doing that? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, go ahead. What else? So, so the Mangler Squigs. Then they got a uh, the huge spider, right? Like the the Arachnarok. The Arachnarok. Which, by the way, is a play on Ragnarok, which is the uh, Norse like doomsday thing. Am I the only one that picked up on that? No, all Arachnarok I could think of was spider. Galaxy Quest. Oh, okay. Grognock or whatever. Right. Name. Well, everything kind of takes a, you know, converts or has a take on yeah, well, that's true. mythology. That's right. That comes out. So it looks like two configurations. You can have the catapult one. Three. Three. There's three. You can have the shaman on it. Shaman, catapult, catapult or regular. 
re now regular still has eight. Nine, yeah, but it doesn't. Up. Yeah, but it doesn't have any catapult. It doesn't have a shaman. It just has that guy. It's the eight. What's going to make this such a bear to paint is the goblins. eight goblins yeah. on it. This thing is not going to be easy to assemble or paint. It's a nightmare. It's a beast. But the fig. Look at all that. Looks the fig cool. Fig is awesome. Oh yeah. So wait a minute. So it's either a rare choice or a hero's choice. Lord, lords. Oh, it just had to start and stop. Okay. Everyone's like, I don't know where did Sean I teleport out? That's it. I'm teleporting out. So rare, cho rare choice with either the catapult or the right. I mean, right. nothing. Just the crew or the lord choice with the spider shrine. Right. Huh. What my prediction is, lord will be preferable to rare. Because in the rare slot, you're competing. <coughs> That's the problem with rare, is you're yeah. you're just you're competing with so many things. Well, I don't know what. So rock, I, wait, rock lobber is that, in rare now. I got moved to rare. Went from special and it, to and rare. And it got more expensive. Oh, that's rotten. Doom diver catapult pump wagon. Do you still get two for one? Oh no, it doesn't matter. You just have points. But uh, the pump wagon now you have all these cool little like additions you can add to it. So you can oh. make it move, move faster. Spiky or hits roller, harder. Outrigger flappers giant exploding spores. Yeah. <laughs> And then wolf chariots can be taken in units of one to three instead of just one wolf chariot. Oh, that's great! And they're super cheap now. They're only 50 points a pop. Oh, well, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see wolf chariots. But I, you know what you got to do? you got to hand brew your wolf chariots. Right. Don't get the standard one. Because those wolves are like 12 years old. And get, um, I'm going to say chaos hounds. Oh, yeah. Or go Lord of the Ring wargs. Oh, but Chaos Hounds is probably your best bet at like two with discount, probably like two bucks per hound. And don't those come in? You get two goblins. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. Two goblins, and if you can somehow scratch build the rest of it, you got that's like eight bucks of materials right there. We could do a tutorial on popsicle sticks. Go to Taco Bell <laughs> and do what he did. Where it goes into Taco Bell, picks up like straws. And don't plastic e don't even order anything. Didn't even order. Just anything. go in and just. And it, Grab with that materials. and a toy mammoth and some green stuff, you've made like your uh, scrap, what is it? scrap launcher for your ogres. But you know what? That's, that's a good idea because thing. the scrap launcher <laughs> actual model sucks. So I did the smart thing, although the cheapskate thing. Yeah. For all of us who aren't rich, and well, $60 the ultimate. Models. Hey, rich is relative, folks. It's, well, think about it. If the U.S. is top, you know, 3% of the thing, you're just living here, you're rich. Having running water, you're rich. You're According to my a, math, they're in the top 97%. All right, well, there you go. Yes. <laughs> all right. I don't know what to anyway. say. So, units of three chariots okay. could yeah. be really hitty. I mean, that's a really oh, yeah. good hammer unit. Well, a problem, like, run it... A problem that you have is um, is frontage. With an orc and goblin army, you can actually get so crowded yeah. that, and now it's like there's more terrain on the boards. Oh, that's true. And it's like, and so you want to concentrate in like harder units, but have enough. So there you go. Hey, it's James. What do you got? Oh, that's pretty Don't sweet. touch the spikes. Okay, um, I will. Problem is, I don't have a battle wagon, so okay, I wasn't quite it. sure exactly how wide to make right. it. So I give it springs, so it'll fit. Okay, great. <laughs> That's so sweet. I like it. Custom-made springy death roller. <laughs> Check it out. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That'll paint up real nice. Thanks, Dad. No Good problem. for you. All right. So I think there's another thing. New they're coming out with Savage Orc plastics. It looks like you get Savage Orc War Boys for 18. Okay, but look at all the things they have. Special so rules. So choppas, frenzy, size and batters, we're familiar with that. Thick skin, tusker charge, that's the plus that's the one boar. strength for the boar. Like the boar has a lance, basically. War paint, that's their uh, save, right? And yeah, their ward save. save. Invulnerable save, their ward save, thank you. And wild abandon, what is wild abandon? Let's find out. I don't know what that one is. Like yeah. I said, I've just been paying attention to a lot of the goblins. Well, stuff. I just... Well, and I, I just wonder how this will affect 
like orcs. People are going to want to order orcs now, so <clears throat> well, there's that. So on the at least on the forums that I've been reading, savage orcs seem to be like the thing. Like those are the orcs yeah, you want now because right. they're so killy, like frenzied, Great. two attacks, and just crazy. Big stabbers. Oh yeah, that's in the new kit. And the, two or more ranks has impact hits. And it does like Nominate D a model in the front rank to be the one that inflicts the impact. So just D3 impact hits. Yeah, and if it's at a large target, it does D3 wounds. Each, uh, each hit not... does D3 wounds. No, that's good. Don't so, get me wrong. Okay, wild abandon. Any savage orc on a war board can benefit from having two hand weapons despite being <laughs> mounted. If so equipped, they must deduct minus one from the dice score whenever they take a dangerous terrain test. All right. so that means they get two attacks plus frenzy. So three attacks with the board. board. So each model will have four attacks. That's great. With Savage or Boar Boys. With Chapas is strength four. Well, good for them. Well, and this is what I had hoped for, is they would bring cavalry back into the game. But I didn't know how. Because I was thinking, well, you just have to, you can't think of cavalry as, oh, I'm going to have five wide. Right. Or I'm going to have, like, ten used to be, wow, ten, oh, not ten. No, 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 twenty. Twenty Boar Boys is what you want. That's going to be, that's huge. And that's, well, but again, with the frontage and the mentality of 8th edition, which is you got to really consolidate down your blocks and have huge blocks and yeah. think of the game differently. Think of it in tight, like people are, and even now, people are ordering 50 Phoenix Guard in a unit. 50, 5 wide, Ugh. excuse me, 10 wide, 5 deep. Couple of, and I just, as you, some of you may remember, I got mopped up by that unit. I couldn't stop it. Literally, That's there wasn't so anything I could send in against them to stop them. That's when you need the, those uber spells, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what those have to be there for. Mm -hmm. By the way, as a side note, that's why I think Dark Eldar, Beastmaster, Chimera, that's the hounds, are spectacular beyond what people realize right now, which is because they get a four-up and vulnerable, and they get feel no pain. Phoenix Guard are, like, unbeatable because they have just, they have Toughness 3, and then they have a 4-up ward save. And, and, five up, and, and they have armor on top. But with how Warhammer Fantasy works, you know, that gets peeled off most of the time. But these guys, the Chimera, they have 4-up, can't be changed, and another 4-up can't be changed. So, I think they're going to be tough to beat. Anyway, let's get back to the thing. So, what else? Uh, insights. Black orcs are 12 per model. What did they used to be? 13, I think. Okay, so they got... Because black orcs used to be... Like, I turned my nose up on them. Just barely. Oh, now they're immune to psychology. Yeah. That's kind of a big deal. So I got cheaper and immune to psychology. And yeah, the it. command is a little more... Oh, that's across the board. Yeah. Everyone's command is more expensive now. Really? Because they're thinking that people are going to be doing less units that are bigger. It, oh, I right? understand. Yeah, but why not just kind of leave it where it is and make people have people take commands? I, Great, I don't have it, the answer. I, I viewed it as a bonus, you know, where it was... Because before, I can't remember a time when people didn't take commands on giant units of guys. You would just oh, yeah. always do it. That's every right. edition. And now they, like, made them even better. So That's true. I'd just be like, That's you know, true. keep the point costs the same. And, uh, all right, so wolf chariots in groups. Yeah, they're ten points cheaper. Right. And then you can have them in groups. Spear Chukka looks the same at 35. Uh, but Spear Chukka got, um, it has a misfire table now. Oh, does if it? If you roll a one to hit, oh, then no. and it does the stone throw. The stone thrower, like... Uh, oh, that's terrible! But, but for 35 okay. points... Yeah, buy Spear Chuckas. <laughs> Well, I mean, for 35 points, you got it. Well, they were good. Concession. Maybe they're just normal now. Yeah. You know? That's what I think. We'll All see. Right. I don't know if there's anything else. Well, yeah, I think we've run out of steam. Goblins and, goblins and night goblins. Um, goblins and? Goblins is and... That, is that night. like a Nordic goblin? Goblins and... I'm Goblins and... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to run with that now. <laughs> so... If you are, you should know the correct spelling. It's G-O-B-L-I-N-S-S-O-N. Got to have double S's in there. Yes. Goblin's son. That would be the Nordic way to spell it. Goblin's right? data. All right. But, like, they have more options or cheaper options. I think Night Goblins, you can take spears for free now. 
Like oh. you just like like switch out your hand weapon. And now that's like, right. I've always thought that was right because you were giving up the parry save. Right. But then you had to pay a point to get another advantage. Right. So it was like two downsides, one upside. Right. Now you'll see goblins with spears. Thank you. And then the regular... trolls are special. Well, the regular trolls are. And oh, cheaper, are. Okay. I think. They're cheaper. Troll vomit, fear, stupidity, regeneration, leadership four still. Yeah. Nope. Five and points how much were they? Five points cheaper okay. in the new edition. And they went down to special. Yeah, and but that's the, good. But like the river trolls and the Sounds to me trolls. like someone wants to sell some plastic troll kits. <laughs> but the new and the new troll kit is great. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna see a lot of tr trolls are a must take now. Well, they're like really six trolls. Yeah, you need six trolls to have that one rank, and you get all those attacks. Because stupidity is now not as bad with proper command and banners yeah. and the thing like that. That's right. I gotta tell you, I'm excited. All of a sudden, get cracking on my oh. orcs. Oh, Valhalla, May first weekend in May. Is Warhammer Fantasy, so I think we may have to do orc themed. Like, like but starting just fantasy now. It's only, this time. Well, it's only two, how many months of March, April, May? We're only two months away, eight weeks away. Eight weeks till the Warhammer Less. Fantasy one. Minus a bit. It's like yeah, a, seven and a half the weeks. Of May instead of oh, so soon. So yeah, get your ticket and come on out. Seriously. Oh yeah, no, I can't let a video go by without a plug for Valhalla, because <laughs> Valhalla is awesome. Let's do it. I, I watched it from the other I'd side of the I'd be like the worst narrator ever. The awesome hero bursts through the door. I'd tell you, about, I'd awesome tell you things instead of showing you. He busts through the door awesomely. Yeah. And beat the oh, awesome and crap. Stuff like that. Oh, uh, the yeah. awesomely awful. Using the same word twice as a descriptor in the same paragraph. Oh, English teacher's nightmare. Completely. <laughs> yep. Sorry, just having bad memories of high school. You'll, you're nothing, Gately. You'll never amount to anything. Oh, no, wait. Nobody said that. What did my teacher say? I believe in you. That was one. That was a good one. Awful I had a math, memory. I had a math teacher who was really pissed one day. Because oh, yeah. He's, oh, yeah. He's like, Sean, you have so much potential, and you were just not using your potential. I got that one a lot. And I said, but, sir, I'm tired. I'm tired from working. Late to pay my rent. Anyway. I remember the potential talk. A lot. Oh, yeah. A lot. Oh, yeah. Like the potential every single talk. teacher. Yep. Gotta love them. Good teachers. Have good things to say about my teachers. They yeah, most awesome. I had mostly good teachers, too. In hindsight, I think, I think uh, at least a third of my teachers were smoking weed. Yeah. Yep. Maybe, Southern Oregon in the 80s. Maybe that's why they were so on. good. Come on, yeah. They were enlightened. Anyway. There you go. All right, this went downhill in a jiffy. All you right. got to cut out the thanks. last five minutes. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for, no, I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for coming on, John. All right. Lots of fun. Editing is for amateurs.